Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. HTML, which stands for a Hypertext Markup Language, is the code that makes up your web pages. While you work in a visual environment, HTML Co is working behind the scenes to produce files that a web browser can understand and recreate the way you see it when you create it in your visual environment. The primary concept of HTML code is that it uses paired tags. A tag is the part of code that defines what type of content, data, or formatting is about to begin. Each tag must be closed after the content, data, or formatting is entered in order for it to function properly. Thus, paired tags. You can view your web page in the HTML view to see the actual HTML code. This is an excellent way to begin learning the HTML language. As we just stated, HTML is based on the concept of paired tags. For instance, when you're in the HTML view, you can see that any content in the page is between the body starting tag and the body closing tag. If we were to select some text in normal view and then apply a bold formatting with the bold button in the formatting toolbar, if we switched over to HTML view, we'd see the bold start and close tags around that text. So let's go ahead and try that. Switch back to normal view. Select a couple of words. And then bold them. Now switch back to the HTML view. Any selected text or objects will also be highlighted in the HTML view. And here we can see the bold and closing bold tags around the three words I selected. Once you feel more confident with the HTML language, you can apply changes in this view and see how they'll appear in the normal view. As you gain more knowledge about the HTML language, you can also go here to make adjustments to the code. For example, we're aware that the font face that we choose may not display correctly on all computers. In this case, the page will display in the font face that is the browser's default. However, you can give the web browser a few font faces to choose from in the HTML view. This is called a font family. If you give a browser a font family to work with, it will try to apply the first choice, and if it cannot display that font, it will move on to your second choice, and so on and so on. You can have as many font choices as you would like in a family, but sticking to three or four is generally a good idea. To create a font family in HTML code, first switch to normal view and select some text. Then use the font dropdown to select a font. Once you've done that, switch back to the HTML view. The selected text, again, will also be selected in the HTML view, but now what you're looking for is the font face tag. And we can see that it's right here. This particular tag is showing us that there's a font whose attributes will now be defined. The attributes are that the face of the font is Arial Narrow and the color is the hexadecimal code 008000, which basically is a dark green color. To add fonts to the font family, simply click into the tag after the first font, enter a comma, hit the spacebar, and then enter the name of another font. As we said before, 
Three fonts is a good number to work with here. But, just to be safe, you should always throw in an extra font at the end, either serif or sans serif. This way, just in case all of the fonts you've specified are invalid on the visitor's computer, the browser will still know that you meant you wanted some sort of serif or sans serif font. A serif font is much like what you see on your screen right now. Notice how each of the letters has little dashes or swoops at the ends of the letters. These little dashes and swoops are the serif part of this font. A sans serif font does not have these. So, in this font family, since the first font I entered was Arial Narrow, which happens to be a sans serif font, I'll enter that now. You'll need to make sure all of the fonts in the font family are enclosed in one set of quotation marks. Once you're done, you can switch back to normal view. If you switch back to normal view and your font does not change at all, this does not mean that you entered the font family incorrectly. It simply means that your computer does have the first font in the family. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.